Hello and welcome everyone, Lionheart here with part 3 of the Hannibal at the Gates Let's Play. We continue playing as Carthage and uh, we're about to um, siege uh, Kartuba, I believe. We took out some of their forces on the field of battle last time. Uh, as many people did say, I probably should have swung, uh, swung around and hit the forces outside to draw them all out, but um, that's what I thought I did. Um, rather than going straight in here, but uh, I probably could have clipped one of these extra garrison armies that were left outside. But we've got a good chance of, um, of attacking, and normally I wouldn't be too keen on the whole sieging thing, but um, I do have Ballista, so I'm kind of a little bit confident here. But let's go. We've got some ladders as well. They've got some fair few forces. They've got basically 600 reinforcements, and I think their initial army is about 1,200 strong, something like that. Um, I'm going to have a preemptive sip of victory tea, actually, because it's early morning. Um, I've just woken up from my weekend away at Rezd. If you don't know what that is, then um, check out my previous vlog, which was off to Rezd, and there'll be a follow-up vlog. I managed to talk to so many awesome people there, so many great indie developers and AAA devs, too. Uh, Alien Isolation, by the way, guys. It is... Um, it will ruin your pants. Let's just leave it at that. But anyway, this is not... Uh, the Res catch-up video. This is Hannibal the Gates Part 3. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for all that Res goodness. It was awesome. Gartuba. Here we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a smidge tired, essentially. That's what I'm trying to get at. Let's wait. We want to fight this in the nice and dry. There we go. Our elephants, elephants don't get, like getting wet, right? That's the thing. Righty tighty. Okay, so it's this map, I know it well, but actually it's got a kind of a different layout here for once, which is which is nice to see that's some kind of difference, although I don't think it necessarily works with the the desert behind it and somebody coming to these lush green trees, but um, must be like a nice little fertile oasis up here. Bit of uh, reusing the same um, map layout, but we'll, we'll, we'll look past that for now. So, we have Carthaginian Hoplites on my ladders. Now, as you can see, they're pretty weakened from that battle. So, the main troops I'm going to be relying on are my Libyan infantry, which is a good thing because the main troops I'm coming up against here are uh, spear troops. I do have my pikes, and I'm actually, rather than going for, um, well, this is the thing. Do I take down the gate? Doesn't have any, um, doesn't have any burning oil. Or do I go for the walls? I think my first course of action is going to be actually to destroy this part of the wall over here so I can rush in with all my sword troop um, from over here, sneakily. The um, uh, thing is, I, well, I'm definitely going to get these guys off the uh, off the ladder. I assume we are just going to then spam. I am going to go for the whole hoplite spam over here. Try and take the wall. completely ignore the rest of it. Then I've got these uh, skirmishes here, my Peltas and Levies, which are going to sort of come up to this mark here eventually, and then we'll uh, shell the wall with them. Um, dude, we're going to leave you over here. Cavalry, we're probably going to leave you guys back here. Uh, but my general... No, what was I... What did I just move? Oh, that's my, that's my pikes. We'll bring them up. They'll work. And we're leaving them on formation attack for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some testing this week to see, kind of, once and for all for myself, what um, you know what requires formation attack and what doesn't, basically. So I think that's everyone there set. Ballistas are ready. So that's our attack lined up. Let's go. Let's destroy this part of the wall right there. Peltas, I'm just going to push you guys to here. I'm hoping you're not going to be in range of the enemy. We will see. They're all uh, skirmishes as well. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Oh, that was a brilliant miss, guys. Aim at the wall. Probably should group these guys. Start moving them forward. I just want to kind of keep out of the range of the skirmishes until I've destroyed a part of the wall. Bring down the wall. Please actually hit the wall this time. I really need that wall being killed before you guys uh, all die. 
And thankfully they're not slingers, so yeah, we are... Uh... We are able to uh, move slightly further than we normally would. And I mean, these guys shuffling around a lot gives me a perfect opportunity to suddenly push forward my skirmishes at a given moment, so I'm going to have to hear about that. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough ammo to knock this wall down and the gates. Uh, I think I would be suicide with all the towers there, so we'll probably just try and smack another part of the wall down. Or unless we get a sudden hit like that, where actually it does focus on the wall. But uh, we can push these ladders slightly further forward, or I think about there. They should be fine. And also, of course, the Libyan infantry, which are going to run in this gap. Plus the elephants, which are then going to go up there. Now, I know a lot of people have been commenting, because obviously I haven't been able to make a new part while I've been away at Res over the weekend, but I have enjoyed reading all the comments, and a lot of people sort of saying, you know, do you need anything other than, um, you know, war elephants? Because, oh, hello, we've got the enemy reinforcements coming in. Do you need anything other than elephants in this situation? Um, that's a good point. But I think once we get once we get going, I think perhaps once the uh, you know once we come up against slightly larger forces, I mean I do have to be careful with the elephants because you know it's my general as well. I don't want to um, I don't want to lose my generals, so I guess it is a bit hit and miss. I, I they are, they are very, very powerful. I don't know if that's OP or if that's just about right for a unit with only 24 men in it. Um, we'll see. I'm sure there'll be some balancing and, and patchwork on, uh, on Hannibal at the Gates in time. Just trying to waver this unit before we then run away from the Noble Fighter, which I'm going to send the Elephants into. To make sure these guys don't harass us. There we go. Got them there. Oh, ballista's really low, so it's not going to be able to destroy that part of the wall. Okay, now you can't all go for that part of the wall, guys. You go there. You go there. You go there. And if you can, you go there. Yes, there's just enough room for all that. Libyan infantry, you guys are going to storm storm the walls. Peltas, you're going to try and come around at an angle so I can actually hit the enemy. So here comes the uh, the war elephants. I'm not going to stampede with them here. We're just going to go for a nice zoom on in. But, I mean, these guys could be taken down rather nicely with... Um, with, say, skirmishers. If you can, you know, if you can hold the elephants with an infantry unit. If they had skirmishers now to back them up, then they'd do fine. But, um, yeah... Something to, something to look at, perhaps. Um, right, while these guys are moving forward, they're going to take the first brunt of the enemy skirmishers. But we're going to push forward with all my Peltas now, and levies, and hopefully pelt them back. Meanwhile, my towers are getting there, and we're going to send them up over here. Take them off formation attack. Off? Off formation attack. Get my cavalry out of there. Uh, See how long I can actually keep my elephants in here for. The enemy general is enemy general's dead. dead. Good, good. Peltas taking these guys down a treat. Charge now with my Libyan infantry. Hoplite's going to get up to the walls. We'll capture that tower in the process. We'll clean out these guys at the front. We haven't come up against their spears yet, so I assume they're further back. But we need to claim this bit anyway, we'll capture the gates. Alright, let's just see. Okay, so my elephants were able to take down this well. They're still here, they haven't taken a loss yet. But I can see the blood on them, um, which generally just show that obviously they are getting weaker, they are losing hit points, so things you're not meant to leave them in sustained fight sites. So you're meant to charge them in, support with other infantry as well, and then pull them out. So, um, I don't know if it's maybe looking at even the AI perhaps that needs to... Um, adapt to, you know, just sending, to sort of, uh, in their kind of algorithm, recognize that elephants don't just send one unit up against them, send, you know, a couple of units to support, one to pin, and things like that, perhaps. Perhaps that's the way that AI needs to be, uh, kind of tuned towards it. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm having a bit of fun here. Oh, we've got Iberian Slingers coming up against us. 
I'm going to send my uh, Peltas over here to face them. They're hiding in the bush over there, though. We're capturing the gate here against the Slingers, and Skirmishers, rather. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Peltas on these guys, please. Go, guys, go. Slingers, come on in. Face the next volley of javelins. Boom! They're down. Captured this area here. Let's get these guys into the arrow tower area. Pull them all forward. Capturing the gates. No idea where the rest of the infantry is. Let's assume they're up here. This is the first time actually I've seen them not all charged down here. Oh, what am I cavalry being hit by? Nothing? They just slowly scared. Scared away. Elephants up you come. Pikes up you come as well. Okay, we're going to send one unit to capture that tower there because it's going to be annoying. Because um, obviously these capture points... Um, there's only one now, but also if you capture... I, and it goes down. I'm not sure if you claim. It's not meant to be cla you claim a victory now. It's meant to be um, you don't get a morale bonus for holding it. So that's going to be interesting to see how that works. Turn the hoplites up. Elephants coming through the gates. I think the elephants went in one by one. Oh no! Now they're all just everyone in. Go. So pushing everyone forward, trying to discover where the rest of those, where their spear units are. They had some spears somewhere. No idea where. We've dealt with those units that were coming up to flank us. Might as well get my skirmishes up here, I guess. You know, leave the pikes, pikes to hold the gates in case something happens there. I always like to roleplay that scenario, like defend, defend us as we move in. Um, Libyan infantry, you're going to be the ones that obviously, you know, do the damage to the spears here, probably. Or well, the most damage, because you are swords. You are the natural enemies of the... Of the spear. It's also nice not to see all the enemies so far. I, I say this, it's probably just going to happen. I oh, know they're all here. Here we go. Like I was say, it was also nice to uh, see these guys um, not just all break the moment I defeated their forces at the tower. But this is brilliant, actually. This is great to see... The units, you know, they didn't all hold down at the front. They actually held up here, near this. I assume the AI now has, or is, is kind of told that staying near the point um, has morale, has a morale bonus. So this is good place to be. Um, <laughs> right, they have their noble fighters here, which is where really I want to send my my elephants crashing into the noble fighters. And send the Libyan infantry round the flanks. Uh, what are they sending up here? More tribesmen. I'm just going to quickly form up here. We're flanking around with the Libyan infantry because we're going to go up against the tribesmen. My hoplites are already being engaged here by tribesmen. There we go. We're crashing in. Everyone's getting stuck on in here. Okay, so we'll pin them and hold them there. Elephants have their targets. We're going to stampede here. They've gone into a frenzy. In come the elephants. And that's all my elephants' uh, ammo gone. Flail with the, with the trunk. And I'm going to, first of all, break these tribesmen over here. They're going to get, oh, brilliant throw there. Their secondary weapon, that guy. Yep, yeah, they're going already. They're wavering. Oh, and we're losing we're losing elephants. We've lost an elephant. So, yeah, it's because of the damage they took earlier. They've got lost another one. Okay, I am going to bug out there with my elephants a bit. They are fatigued as well. But there you go. So... 
Maybe in that first battle it wasn't shown enough that they can be defeated. Like, coming up against these noble fighters, this is a danger for them. I'm going to turn around and hit them again. So yeah, they're not, they're not completely, you know, indestructible. You've got to throw a strong couple of units at them to do the damage, because these guys are probably now, you know, ready to start dying. Um, their hit points are probably pretty low. That's one thing I would like to see, perhaps, at some point in Total War Series, being able to see a hit point for the for the elephants themselves to know when they're going to go down, but you can only judge at the moment by how much blood's on them. So when you know they've got a lot of blood like this, you know they're probably not going to take too much damage. But now that we've pinned them between Libyan infantry and noble fighters, we're doing all right. Balhamon. And in the battle, there we go, they've broken. So we lost 251. Um, now you're probably thinking that looks like a lot of friendly fire kills, Lionheart, but no, that doesn't take into account still the siege towers, or rather the, the towers in the fort. Managed to kill 1,058. And they're dead. They fall. I rise. And we... You know, yeah, we are going to raise this one for now. We're going to raise it, lock it down. The Brethren of Baal. We fight for you, my We've sent them running. We're going to convert this over. We're going to build a temple to start with. Because we're going to have to go for lots of uh, shrines of Balhamon for that Punic influence. And it is just dominant here, but there is an Iberian culture as well. So now everyone can replenish here. We have a nice big old army. Let's come back up to the strategic map so we can see we're just covering around here. We're going to be going to war with the um, uh, Lusitani. Um, soon as well. We've got to watch out for these guys up here. Saw your comments telling me that they were coming down the coast and they are at war with me. In fact, they have an army here. Um, so, with uh, with Hannibal, I am going to go up there. These guys aren't going to like me trespassing in their lands. Oh, wait. Mm, no. Oh, well, I can go by the sea, I guess. Instead. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go force march it. No, 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 no. No! Damn it! Click too much. It's fine. We'll get there next. Oh, it's going to be shy next turn, even with Force Mark. Oh, it's the elephants, isn't it? Well, thankfully, we, at least we got these guys here. Let's put it that way. Thankfully, we got them there. They should be able to hold off this first force. Um, my spy. Um, I want him up here just to see what's coming. Let's look at diplomacy. Garthage. Um, so we're going after these guys as well, obviously. We've got Libya as my client, as are the these guys. Um, the Oretani. These guys, nothing really much going on there. Syracuse. Greetings. I would love to get a trade agreement or a non-aggression pact, but no. A man is um, no, I, still want, I didn't want to cancel diplomacy there. Um... Right, so we are we are at war with a lot, though. <sighs> it is uh, it is an episode of Everyone Hates Carthage. Um, and we've got these guys who are at war with as well. The Turtani are about to die, though. So that's good. Right, well, apart from that, Nova Carthage, we will slowly bring up more forces. Obviously, it's looking at building in mercenaries as well into my armies. Um, but they still will take a, quite a drain on my, my forces later on. When my economy is higher, then I'm more than happy to, you know, bring in some of the great mercenaries that Carthage has um, at its, um, you know, that is available to it. And we're going to lose this. We're going to have a rebellion here. Right, let's end the turn. Oh, no, 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 no. Because these guys need upgrading. General, uh, formidable fighters to start with um, for the army traditions. And then we'll strategist things up. And the defenders of the new city. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so we were ambushed, were we not? In fact, we need to do something with them before we end the turn. Factional mercenary replenishment or morale for elephant unit. Do we have an elephant unit in this one? How we do. Um, so, you know what? Let's go for the elephant unit. Right. Now, what are they going to... Ah, damn it. They're going to spawn too many. Well, the idea is actually grab loads of mercenaries. Is it not? And we could actually hit it. How much money would we need? We'd need a fair bit to hire these guys. <clears throat> but we could push in and take Siga, which is Numidian spearmen, javelin men, and tribesmen, which are skirmishers. 
Otherwise, I'm probably going to get hit by these guys. We are still replenishing. So you know what? I, I'm i going to risk it. Go down here. Then with the whole of my income next turn, just whack out all the mercenaries and then we'll go in. I'm hoping that they won't come back. They can't reach us, apparently. Right, let's risk it. End the turn. I'm going to have some, some tea. Oh, I forgot about this army here. There we go. And in fact, we're lucky enough that we can probably just auto-resolve this one. But the only thing with auto-resolving in this campaign is going to be that my elephants are most likely always going to get tanked. Because it's just the way the AI algorithm seems to work with cavalry and elephant units. Yep, as you can see, my elephants apparently did... Uh, well, they did, yeah, they did the most damage, to be fair. But, um... Well, you guys saw in that last battle, unless they come up against noble fighters, none of these units should really go for them. Although, as I said, if you pin them with spearmen and then flank them perfectly with the javelin men, they'd go down pretty quick. Uh, we're just going to occupy here. We're not going to um, raise. But another settlement, slowly building up that empire, that economy. Hopefully, in a few turns, Carthage will be looking a lot stronger and a lot um, more solid shape. At least that's what I hope. If not, then, uh-oh. So they're pulling their forces back. I mean, that takes a huge swathe of territory from... Oh, they're coming to they're coming to attack me? Really? They are. They are coming to attack me. And I'm going to get a poxy 12 units from my garrison army. Um, <clears throat> what's the auto resolve like? Um... All these guys. Mercenary. Hmm. You know, I'm actually going to fight this one. Only because so many of my units are on low health, I don't trust the AI not to throw them in recklessly, and then I'll lose them. I don't want to lose the whole unit. Um, because obviously the way replenishment works in Rome 2, um, in fact, in, in I think all the Total Wars, um, you know, as long as you have just one guy left in that unit, you can replenish them back up. Obviously, you lose the veterancy the more you replenish, but... Um, yeah, and they're attacking from over here. Well, that's perfect because I have some great Peltas and Javelin men. Ah, oh, the wall is still broken. That's, that's cool. I've never actually had a um, never been attacked directly after I besieged somewhere. And because you don't, you know, you don't see the damage to walls, and you don't see, um, you know, you can't control repairing walls and things like that. That um. Yeah, you never get to see stuff like this, but perfectly, I have pikes to fill the gap, and then I'll have my uh, Libyan infantry, bar that chap, because he's a bit too weak, I don't want to risk him. They'll form up here to take on guys that come up on the wall, as will my hoplites, the ones that are strong enough, that I deem worthy <laughs> as such. Elephants, they took a beating in that last battle. Um, my general up here, let's have a look at him. Hey dude, how you doing? You good? Nice. You got some cool elephant friends. Um, we're going to leave him down toward the gates. Uh, any units belonging to the faction controlling this capture point get a morale bonus if they are within the area of control. Oh, so it's only within the area of control. Um, really? What, within there? Surely not. Within the area of control, which just assumes all this bit here? I don't, I don't know, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Who knew? Um... Immune to fear, run a muck, scare everything. Mighty knockback, resistant to heat. I just want to see what other things they had here. Kill elephant, second wind. Okay, that's basically what we can get. Right, um, actually, no, would be useful. Seeing if they have a. They do have a morale bonus here, so I assume that is due to the cap, that catch point. It wouldn't make any sense. I wouldn't have thought just in that area being the morale bonus. I assume it's everywhere. Um, right. These guys are my weakened units. We'll leave them up over here. Perfect. They've all chosen to stay. Ballista, actually. Didn't think about that. We'll have them here firing down, trying to hit those those towers. I don't think they do much damage, though. Right. I'm ready to go. Start the battle. Loyal sons of Carthage, soldier. Tell them firing at will. I want to tell them where they're going to fire. You're going to fire on this ladder. Here it comes. Do do do. Spreading out might hit the ladders either side or not at all. Um, I would love to see a flamble shot. See if we can set the tower on fire. So let's just try it. 
Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. Oh, It just looks cool, though. Um, right, Peltas and Levies. So you off skirmish mode and quick reload. There you go. No, it's the, the arc's too high for them. But what we can do is I think we can just hit these guys. Oh, no, we've got to move. Okay, well, we're going to hit the Noble Cavalry when my ballista moves the tiniest bit further forward. Because <laughs> that's going to be so much fun. And flaming shot as well. I know it's not as accurate, but if one flaming shot goes in, it should do a lot of damage. As well, I know the explosive round two, because it does have a bonus against infantry, not so much against cavalry, but we'll use a standard round in a moment. I think all of them are going to miss. No, we've got one coming in. Oh, boom. See, just look at the flame. Look at the flame. I'm going to let him fire that again. It was just fun. Oh, oh, looks like meteor attack on them. Oh, boom. Yes, that does damage too. That's a fair bit of damage. We'll give them a round shot now on them. The last flaming shot incoming. Because the accuracy is a bit off. Oh, but it tears through their ranks. It's brilliant. Right, these guys are getting to the walls, but the javelin men and peltas are getting those better angles now. On the um, Scutari. So yeah, we're destroying that uh, that noble cavalry unit up there. But they are getting to the walls. They are getting there. That unit's not, really. I wouldn't have thought. And we're going to pull back any moment now. Any moment we're going to pull back. The first units are actually getting up there. Okay, now we're going to pull back. Iberian swords. And these guys are actually going to be taken off fire at will. Just because I don't want them killing my own guys. Libyan infantry, get yourselves acquainted with the walls, if you wouldn't mind. Ballista, have you taken out the whole of the general? No, but they're wavering, and that might... Ah, oh, miss. No, they're gone. Good. Hit the slingers now, please. I really should take these guys off formation attack. Go nuts, guys. Should get the spears down here actually to flank with, that would be a good idea. These guys are swords, but while they're trapped going up the ladders, should be fine. Okay, that's the ballista out of it. Damn. I'm sure we can get the peltas up here, they'd be able to hit someone. Out come the hoplites. Yeah, that's it, the sons of whores. Lovely. It's the way with words that they have. I'm just going to charge along and through because I don't think if I give them attack order they'll come up to the top. These guys are holding. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. So these guys can come down and help out. Got my Carthaginian troops climbing up the Yes, they are climbing up to kill these guys. They're spearing them as they come on down. Hoplites, over towards the Iberian Slingers, if you wouldn't mind. You can totally do it. Rapid advance. Go, Pikes, go! to get them to walk through there, but it didn't really work that well. Hoplites have got over here. Go nuts, guys. But you guys can fight off formation attack. And we can end the battle there. And that's we're also going to wrap up the part for now. Um, we will obviously be able to push into that other settlement. I'm going to hire some mercenaries. Um, to swoop in along the North African coast. We'll see that, actually before we completely wrap things up. But, um, so far, pretty, you know, really positive response from you guys. Glad you guys are enjoying this uh, Let's Play. Mission successful. Uh, okay, we didn't get any of the bonus objectives. From Ashes. Rebellion imminent. 
and War Rises. Control 24 settlements, direct ownership all through clan blah, 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 blah. Yep, we know that one. Okay, this is about to rebel. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. And they have completely changed around my view. Please don't do that, view. Ah, oh, it's so close, it can't make it. They'd be there next turn, it would stop it rebelling. Um, we can untax the province. It's still going to get a rebellion, so we might as well leave it taxed. Well, unless I, I put a general there, actually, because I've now got more forces. Unless I spawn a general in there. Upkeep for all land, ships. This one's from my own family, I assume. The other Barker dynasty. Raise an army. Well, we're clearly going to go for elephants, aren't we? Ready for battle. Set up the okay, launch. now... If we untax the province, they will just go minus one. It'll be up to minus 98 next turn. Then we can bring Hannibal's army in next turn and we can push out against these guys. Oh, well, no, actually, we're not going to push out. We're going to hold here. We're going to need to hold. Okay, but let's just have a look at that settlement down here before we build everything next turn. Okay, they've got their troops in here. They managed to force march them back. My lord. We are going to hire the crap out of some mercenaries. Um, mercenary noble horse. How much is that going to cost me, all this? Ugh, lots. Um, javelin men probably will be needed. And we can't get, I can't afford it. That's going to be all my money. Wow. Um, I could get more elephants if I didn't get so many of these other guys. In fact, we're not going to need so much cavalry. Get another unit of elephants to throw in there. And then attack. But I'll leave that to think what you guys um, think I should do there. Should I go for the mercenary recruitment spree there? Or should I give it a turn? Perhaps go into for, uh, fortified stance and then wait. And just sort out my things over here. But anyway, as always, hope you enjoyed. Please do remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Ciao for now.